All right, welcome to the Elegant Adventure Sagas, or something. Brought to you by School. All right, everybody, I, I removed the practice bunny, which is a fun phrase to say if you haven't ever said practice bunny, um, from the screen. So you should all be seeing just your normal stuffs. And you guys can hear me, right? We're good to go. Can I get a check, check from anyone? Yes. Yo, check, one, two, check. three. Awesome. Now let me, uh, you know what we're missing. Oh, I don't know if you're missing it, but is let's turn on. Next. Nick is joining. Who? What? Yeah. Nick Melock. Yes, he's coming. I'm, I'm missing like a, a charcuterie plate. Oh, <laughs> yes, I am. I am as well. Um, <clears throat> I was missing. I was missing the um, Forgetties. I got this at Forgetties, the bar down the street. I always thought that Forgetties would be a great name for a bar. It was on, um, it was, it was the bar in the cartoon, um, home movies. Do you guys remember home movies? I love home movies. Yeah. 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 Before there was Bob's Burgers, there was home movies. Yes. Alrighty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's where, that's where the, the adult men drank was at Forgetties. Uh, it looks like Noodle, you got your torch going. That's a good sign. Right. What's what I do? Good on me. Yeah, that's why you're you're flickering. All right. So things that you should all know now, and you're Large. all in here, right? Um, if you right click over your own character, there's now a little flame. For those of you who do not have, um, for those of you who do not have dark vision, um, that is how you turn on a torch. It does expend one torch. So if you just tested it out, I can give you a torch back. But I um, didn't know I did. Yeah, so when you when you do it, it's good for an hour. It'll it'll be on for an hour. If you turn it off, that torch is gone, right? You don't get partial torches. So I don't know how I did. <laughs> so there you go. No, we did it. We did it in practice the other day. Oh. Right. It all, but it does. I will say it does make it hard to be <laughs> stealthy, right? If uh, you 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 got a torch going, right? Um, the other thing is just to remind those who haven't played in a while, when you right click over your button, like Fantasy Grounds was combat tracker centric. Boundary is token centric. So your token, like select your token, do a thing. Select your token, click a thing, right? Click your token. Everything is token, token, token. If that makes sense. Um, what else? You're not going to make a joke. Yes, you were going to do a Brady Bunch thing, weren't you? Brady Bunch thing, weren't you? Groovy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. So when we were last here, um, you guys, I believe um, you had headed south and, and fought off some Sturges. Right? Um... You had cleared this room out. You had done a long rest. Is everyone all healed up? I believe. Can you verify for me that you're all healed up? Please. I believe so. It looks like you are on my screen. Sure. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Um, also, you can verify, make sure that your inventory is all accurate and all that good stuff. And while you do so, um, I'll show you something pretty cool. Which, which is what you've never got to see is for my other team, I had things configured. You guys are a transition. Um, welcome to your title screen. <laughs> nice. Yeah, bubbles. The, the bubbles were overkill, but I could not resist. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like it. All right, so I'll get rid of that. Um, if I remember how. Bubbles. Good music though, right? Like, hey, shit's gonna go down to this, in this session. No, but seriously, in, in all of, uh, in my, when we go forward, there's like always like a chapter two screen. You never got to experience that. Um, and now you should be back in this one, hearing this the cave ambiance. All right. Let me yeah. So how do I un? How do I get rid of my torch? Well, I wouldn't unless you don't unless you don't want to see stuff. Um, but you right click it and you click that fire icon. So if you right click it, you'll see a little flame is lit up. It's like it should be orange on top of your character. Oh yeah. There you go. Right. Well, I'm gonna just see what happens. You just burned up a torch. I mean, you just, you just put out that torch, which means it's now gone from your inventory. All right. Um, another thing to notice, if you hit the journals, which is the little in the upper right-hand corner, the open book icon, there is now something called journals. Or journals, who, for those of you who don't know how to read, says the guy with, like, moderate dyslexia. Um, you all have a journal. It's personal. But then there's also an elegant shared journal, 
right? So those are years to do with what you want. I would encourage you to take notes. Another fun thing. Over. Uh, where is it? Um, on the left-hand side, you will see a little bookmark. Like journal notes, right? Um, there's also, a looks like a little task list icon to the right. Click it. Yeah. And make it Which big. Which one, the bookmark or the task list? Well, click the bookmark, and then in, and then to the right, the second one, it opens up. The secondary toolbar. You'll see the task list. Um, quest tracker. These are your quests, right? So these are things that you have already probably done or need to do. Um, for instance, and I left these here on purpose, finding Craig Macaw, Craig Maw Castle. You have done this, correct? Right? So you, I can check the little yeah. checkbox. And now it's done. Did it update for you guys? It should have updated for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So this is the way we track quests going forward, right? Um, for instance, you're in right now, like you need to deliver Neznar the Black Spider. You need to complete Wave Echo Cave. So you can expand those things and see them. Um, my question was, you've done some of these. I just want to make sure I would given you the experience points. So I just want you to see that they exist. For instance, like finding Larno, right? Investigate Tresdor Manor and locate Larno Albeck, who you now know is Glassstaff and you, and you killed. He's dead, right? So, like, you've done these two things, right? Which means that I can give you experience. Goblin ambush. <laughs> yes. You've located Gundren Rockseeker, or you located where he was, and you located Sildar Hellwinter. Yay. Yeah. Alia's and his job gear, offer. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, so that's a different one. Um, so, you, Halia's job offer. You found the Red Band Ruffians. Yes, you did. And you eliminated Glassstaff. Yes, you did. Meet me in Fandolin. Yes, you did escort the provisions. And you delivered them to Barthen's provisions, correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, Myrna's heirloom. Remember, you freed Myrna and her family, and she told you where an heirloom would be found in Thunder Tree. So you've completed that one. Um, Old Owl Trouble. Investigate. Did you guys investigate the well? I don't believe you did this one. Mm -mm. So we'll leave it. Orc Trouble. As much as much as I pushed you to clear the orcs out for the dragon, you did not do so. So <laughs> that that has not been done. Um, the Druid, read out, find read out the Druid. You did in Thunder Tree. Hooray. Um, Sildar's gear. What's that? How come they don't jump over to complete it? Mm. Well, they will once, because I have to make them complete, because then I have to distribute the XP. I just wanted to make sure that we all agreed on what you'd already done. You found Sildar's gear, but you've not returned it to him, correct? Or did you return right, it to him? Did you return it to him? No, I still got it. Okay, so you've got that. Make sure that make, can you make a note of that, um, Karen. That um, even if it's not in your inventory, that I need to make sure that it's in your inventory. I think I put it there by Karen. Um, the Banshee's bargain, and this seems like forever ago. Um, you deliver that silver comb, and then they answered one question for you. So you did that one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. And then that's it. And that's what you've done. Did I miss any quests? Because I don't think... So I haven't been giving you experience points for the quests. I've been giving you experience points for the battles. But I owe you some XP. For instance, like, completing this cave, you get 2,000 XP. Ooh. Make us go up level to level. Right? Yes. And, and, and like, so, like, for instance... Yeah, it would. Um, yeah, it would. For, uh, uh, like... Let's see, Wayback Echo Cave, where's the other one? Um, yeah, deliver Neznar, right? If you deliver him to the authorities in in, Fel in Fandolin, you're going to get a much different amount of XP. You get twice the experience points as if you deliver his body. So capture versus kill, right? So I just thought I just thought it would be, you know, I, I, I added this little extension because I felt like we lose track of this crap pretty easily. Yeah, that's, this is nice. I, yeah. I like it. So, um... And, and as we go forward, I'll be better at them. I just did these retrospectively just to make sure we're good to go. Your primary quest is your Nesnar, though, the Black Spider. Okay, cool. Now that you know where that's at, I'm going to close mine down. You can adjust it, keep it open, not whatever you want to do. Um, it also made it feel a little bit like World of Warcraft to me. <laughs> so, kill five kobolds. Collect <laughs> five weeds. Um... Go all the way across the map and return them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, return them. And then you get a quest to go back and collect 10 kobold bodies, right? 
Yeah, like, couldn't you have said that you needed 15 goddamn kobold bodies? Um, <laughs> no. All right, anything else that you've learned? So, like, um, you have the action HUD, right? Um, a reminder to interact with your token, you have to click your, your little token in the upper left-hand corner on that toolbar, that little little token bar on the left. It's, it's pretty easy to be in something else, and then, like, why can't I click my token? That's usually the main reason. I think we've covered everything. You got. I told you about your journals, all of that. Um, let me open up this journal. Way back, okay. And right now, you are in area six. It's the South Barracks. You've already killed these guys. But let me uh, let me show you what this room looks like because you know, why not? Did it go to the chat? Yeah, and you can click it. There you go. So you're in this this old barracks with like beat up old beds and all sorts of crap, right? Fun, right? You know, this was a miners' barracks, right? Like there were skilled miners working in Wayback Okay. They, they this is where they sort of went to rest between shifts, right? Awesome. All right, so here you are. To the south were the Sturges. Did you guys kill all of them? I believe you did, right? I think so. Yeah. Um, I believe I got everything accurate. Unless you want to fight them again, then I can, you know, respawn them for you. Um, you've searched this room, um, and you found no treasure. Um, you've, you've dispatched the ghouls in this room. You've gotten yourself a long rest. You're all healed up for the day. What are you going to do? I missed last time, so. Hey. Hey. Who's here? Oh, who invited that you guy? You guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, we guys. Can. Don't worry. good, man. I was just catching up. We, like, I had a late start because we had a, a whole colossal of errors today in my world. Um, but we're oh, all back sweet. on track. So um, we okay. were just talking about you guys have just done a long rest. You're in this room. Um, you've dispatched the Sturges to the south. Um, you've fought, I think, three three ochre jellies um, uh, in you know, to the east. Um, and then I just, I think I just ended on like, what are you guys going to do? And you guys know what you're trying to do. You're trying to find the black spider. You're trying to make this cave um, prosperous again, right? You want to bring prosperity back into this world. Let's do a line on tasks. Um, And there you go. And if there's any problems with anyone's characters, like speak now or forever hold your pizza, which sounds pretty good, actually. <laughs> All right. So um, I believe in this game, I believe the the leader, if I'm not mistaken, is Mr. Bing. So when there's silence, I will refer to Mr. Bing and say, Mr. Bing, what are we doing? Let's keep exploring. L yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> back to the Shoot. south. All right. So you should be able to open up the door yourself. Um, why is my 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 server oh. shutting down? Wait a Lucky second. Too. What? Oops. Uh oh. Did I? Oh. Hold on. I don't know of any way that you could have possibly done that. Did you hit <laughs> did you close it? <laughs> no. What did I do? I just typed in the password. Oh, way to go. Nick crashed the server. Oh, Jesus. No. I Let me, let me, uh, no, let me launch it again. That should, like, I don't know why that would have happened. I'm, um, you, you should be able to just. You said they just did a lot of updates, so maybe it was just, you know. I am so sorry, game. guys. <laughs> what did I do? What? I don't even know what I did. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, I don't worry. You, you know, Nick, I think it was coincident. Okay. Um, it is really weird because my I saw this error and it said like server is shutting down. What the? Um, we we guys, I was so excited. We literally were getting ready to go do a thing. <laughs> oh, we will. God, guys, you got to do stuff tonight, man. I need to do. I need to see things done. All right. Um, <laughs> so the server is the server is back up. Well, at least it was fast. You. Yeah. Right. Uh, can you send the, is this the link here, uh, down here in the chat from the 15th? Can one of you guys hook, um, Nick Papa Giorgio up while I kill that mosquito and then, um, launch this? I'm sorry, guys. No problem. No, I don't, you're all good. 
we're all friends here. Well, we actually we literally are are not friend friends. We're D and D friends. We're friends. That's right. Yeah. Wait, what are friend friends, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> You got history, right? You've done shit. You've seen things. You've made pipe bombs, right? Okay. And um, you sure. know, gelatinous cubes together. What more do you need? You talked about talked right. about girls. At least one of you has to have dated my sister for it to be friend friend. Um, oh, that's fair. Oh one my. Of them have. Maybe Jana. I, well, I mean, between Mark, the two of you, you covered most of my yeah. friends. I don't know if Mark, did you ever date Christy? I don't think you did. No, nope. um, not this Christy. All right, I wasn't um, cool enough. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't mind that my sister cool dated enough. my friends. It was. It was harder that she would date my. She would li go live with my ex girlfriends. That was tougher. <laughs> so, anyway, all right. Uh, save configuration. I believe we're back in. I believe. I believe we're good to go now. Correct. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this time. All right. So I do believe I was saying. You are able to click the doors yourself, and if they're unless they're unlocked. So, um, Mr. Bing, find your path. Well, any, uh. are we going south? Yes. All right. I see Karen heading to the door. She's like, I ain't waiting for these jackasses. Yeah, go ahead, Karen. Have we been south? Yeah, you killed a bunch of churches. Yeah. Okay. Oh, um, there's a new tool. When you drag your, your character, it will tell you two things. It'll tell you um, how far you've moved, right? And if it's if it's red, you can't move there because that means that you're hitting walls or you're moving through people. So they are, people are terrain. Um, see, so they have to move out of your way. Well, I mean, they don't have to move out of your way, but it, that just used up in, if you're in battle, that used up part of your turn. So basically, in this battle, new... <clears throat> yeah. I'm probably going to lose because I, I I couldn't figure out how to use a spell. So here's so. what I want you guys to do. So we can we can help you with that. Um, so yeah, it's we called the terrain. It's, <clears throat> it's called a terrain so. ruler, and you know, going over difficult terrain, it'll it'll calculate that for you, tell you how far you're moving. People are always like, yeah. well, how far is that? Now you can just drag your character if you want. Although you can still drag, you can still drive with your keyboard. Awesome. All right. So I see Bing is down south. Yep. And so, you know, looking looking to the west, you see that this this do you have dark vision? Yeah, okay. Um you see that I this sort not. of I No, but you but you do see a certain amount of like there's enough ambient light that you can see that this thing terminates uh, just to the west. Um behind yep. you it, it terminates um and it heads south. It does look to you like maybe to the east um it the 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 mine goes maybe north right before it terminates yeah, um, let's, let's and... check that out real quick all right so um i'm gonna allow um, are you if... going through yeah so why don't you guys click on mr bing and i think that should show you his view and he can represent the party is this okay peoples where are you okay and if you want to know where bing is i can just double click him hold on one second let me hold my mouse down see okay. me flashing tell me there it is, flashing Ooh, him. Big long hallway. Very long hallway, and it heads, it heads way north, way north. Um, but it it doesn't see you yet. But what you see as you look all the way north, just sort of peeking out, is it looks like there might be something up there, right? You don't have dark vision, you can't see that far. But but it feels, you know, it feels like you may have just run into these guys before, um, and you do see that in your world, right? So now Noodles take your healers yeah. now taking the lead. Uh, Noodle to the east. Wait, and wait. This is, and this is where I turn I off Mark movement. I thought Mark was following Mark. You are. Well, Mark is behind you. Um, yeah, I'm... So because you've spotted somebody, I've now turned off free movement. Right? Okay. So everyone who's not there, um, and, and we haven't heard from Nick. Uh, do you guys want me to move? I'll move Fabia um, um, with the rest of the so party. I'm still, I'm still trying to work to get into the game here. I, oh, okay, let's remedy that. Yeah, I, tr I tried to uh, I tried to join Coffee Pub, and it takes me to the page. But when I try and select a user, it just has Alicia, David, and then inventory module. You are select user. well inventory. Yeah, you're David. Okay. 
So choose David and it's coffee, 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 right? To log in, it's your real name because I didn't like if you played other characters, oh, I didn't okay. want to tie it to gotcha. that, right? Uh oh. What am I Thought looking at over here? Right. Oh, that's okay. Joining game. Yeah, there you go. Let's let, let's let David get in. Um, who wants to drive Fabia and little Zippy? I'll drive. I'll drive them. All right. Let me make you Jill, the owner of them. The... I heard so your wife, and then I said, you know, Don't unless that was a Bora. All right, owner. Don't kill your wife. Oh, I think you. I think you were the owner from last time, so it all works out. Oh, perfect. A uh, little zippy. Let me configure ownership. Oh, owner. I see. Yeah. And if you want, Leaves you can. Of green. If you want to put little zippy away for now, you're welcome to do so, or you can you can move him independently. So the okay. so the 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 new evolution of how we work with familiars, I've been learning more, is that um, Simple little calendar, zippy calendar hammer fourteen ninety five dr. Do I need yeah, that? Yeah, you can close it. Um, okay. Um, you can move little Zippy on its turn. You can move um, you can move uh, Fabia on on her turn. Um, they both have their own initiative, but every round she has to choose which one takes an action. Oh, I see. Right. So right. same as same as your. Okay, gotcha. So we're so because little Zippy is actually a familiar. Right. And I think you don't have a familiar, right? You have a beast, or do you have a no? You have familiars too. Um, I, yeah, I have find find your familiar and and uh, oh, yeah. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so so where where noodles at and where you guys passed Bing, Fabia, um, off to the west, to the east, uh, you see a little sort of little cubby area, um, with yeah. some with some with some rubble. Um, just just within eye shot is that door. Um, you are cognizant if you spend too much more time in this hallway, whatever was to the north might might make its way down to you. Um, why don't we just get our archers um, ready? Okay, I can switch to crossbow. Um, also, I'm going to do a quick uh, listen. But I'm not entirely sure. Uh, do a perception. So just a little narrative for where you're at right now. You know, the eastern hall of this chamber has collapsed into a mass of rubble. The north, you know, to the north is a, a door stand that stands ajar, um, leading to a good-sized storeroom from what you can see from here. Um, dusty kegs are tucked neatly against the walls. All of them cracked and split open from the age. And it looks a little bit like this. Boom. Um, I did something to, or unless maybe it was just a uh, happenstance, but... Uh... I like went to highlight. Uh, felt like I was creating a square to like highlight all of you, and now I've exposed like certain areas to the map. How did you do that? I don't know. I just. Oops. Okay, and now it's now it's back. Now I have just the hallway, but I can so I can click and drag, like oh, in a but, corner. Yeah, don't do that though. You're in. I gave okay. you. Okay. Oh wait a minute. Wait, you can click and drag in a corner. I can click, so I, say I wanted to highlight all of us, I uh -huh. can, for some reason I was able to do that, and it, like, brought up. It should bring up everything that everyone can see, it shouldn't bring up anything beyond that. Interesting. Yeah, that's, because I saw that there, well, I don't. No, you didn't spoiler see anything. You're in, yeah. You aren't spoiling. Okay. I don't know, okay. cause I, I, and honestly, you would be spoiling it for me, because I don't know what you saw, so play surprised. Okay. Um, so that to the, sort of to the northeast, you, like you see that rubble, you see that 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 storeroom um, up there, and up ahead you see. Well, you wanted to roll a perception, Mister Bing. Roll a perception. Please. I did. Oh Jesus! I should pay attention. A seventeen. That's cool. Yeah. Yes. So so what you see is too far away, but what you hear with your very good hearing sounds like something's sort of gnawing at bones, right? Um, uh, leads you to believe this this may be a similar like a pal of what you fought in that previous storeroom. Four so ghouls. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. So, uh, what do you guys want to do? Shall we like I motion down the hallway that there are there's something, something. moving around, uh, and then it looks like there's something over up to the northeast as well. What what would we like to do here? 
my ghouls. All right, let's go get. Let's go take care of the ghouls. If right. okay. What are, you, what are you thinking, Christy? Yeah. No, I, that's fine Noodle. because I didn't know if dark vision would go that far. Because I can see. You have a torch, right? Am I supposed? Well, I put it out. Remember. So do you I'm have? Do you have dark vision? I think yes. Dwar yeah, dwarves do have dark. Vision. Yeah, you have dark vision. Yeah. Who doesn't have dark vision? Me. Are stupid, Are. but you but you can still see, right? Yes. Well, they that don't doesn't see how, but they do. yeah, that doesn't make any sense <laughs> to me. But we're not going to solve that problem today. So just we'll just pretend yep. that you have this really this perma torch, right? Um, yeah. Like, so how far is my dark vision? Uh, probably 120 feet, I think, or 160 somewhere in that range. So, so too yeah. far for that. Yeah, you wouldn't normally be able to see that okay. far that far north right so um you know up ahead you know up ahead you see obviously at least one oh. ghoul um let me check the pur purview of anyone else uh yep so yeah you see you see one ghoul total okay we're gonna kill it yeah why not sure Is there anything I should know about these ghouls since I wasn't here? Like uh, they can they paralyze split in you. Half. So do you want so um, roll a nature because I don't because you weren't here so. Oh, I Ro I will roll, roll a nature check. Roll a nature. And do you want to know how to do that? You know, I think that would be fine. There's two ways: the HUD. There's the HUD. So select your your token. And then click those little crossy yeah. guys, right? And then above your, this is remember this a tiny ass stuff, right above Noodle Noodle's photo, right, with, with the bloody eyes, is a little yeah. bitty dot with an arrow, like it says, save right. skills tools. You click that, and unbelievably nature. small, right, is is all that stuff. But you can probably squint your eyes and, and see nature. I did, so I roll nature, right? Push right on nature. Push right on nature. That's like just like humans, we always push on nature. And normal. <laughs> Word. All right, so you got a 14. So what does, what can one say about ghouls? One can say they that. They just want to have fun. Yeah, ghouls, I, you beat them to the punch. <laughs> right? <sorry>. Um, <laughs> that's good. Um, you know, they fight, uh, you know, you know, you know that they don't use ranged weapons. Um, they're, you know, they're, they're undead, right? Um, I believe they're undead. Uh, they're chaotic evil, like, as a rule. Oh. Right, um, and they they attack one of two ways. Right, um, they attack by biting, um, and they attack with their claws. Right, and honestly, if you get to choose, right, um, you want them to bite you, because their claws are kind of badass. Right, um, if they hit you with slashing damage with their claws, um, you you have to roll a Constitution to see if you're paralyzed for one minute. And one minute in D and D time is anyone, 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 ten rounds. Ten rounds. Ten rounds yeah. yeah. It's a lot. A lot can happen. In yeah, rounds. I think you guys have done a ten round um, combat, but not too often, right? So a ten round combat basically means go make yourself a burrito. Right. Um, and uh, but but uh, the good news is at the end of each like at, at, at each round you get to roll that saving throw to see if you if you, you know, come back, right? Um, mm -hmm. So there you go. So so that's sort of what you know, right? Um, Beyond that, like, you know, they're to be avoided, right? Okay. And they're undead. Yes, they are undead. Chaotic evil, undead. Chaotic evil, the best kind of evil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we mosey up there? All right, yeah. you are, um, I'm going to, I'm going to push you in combat. With all of you in combat. Let's see if I get everybody. Come on now. Combat! Combat! And that guy, he's in combat, but but we're not going to roll initiative yet. I just want to sort of make you mindful of the fact that we're in combat. And everyone roll your initiative. Oh, where is that? Oops. Wait a second. Did I roll? No, I didn't roll that. Where's the initiative again? 
Um, it's in the combat tracker. And did the com there, oh, and did the combat tracker pop up for everybody? If it did not pop up, right right click over those two little crosses, right in the um, upper right hand corner where you know you see chat and the two little two I'm um, crosses the two little swords. If you right click it, it will open up a different combat tracker. Um, I currently don't have a dice for Fabia. Um, I will. How about this? To make things easier, I will roll for them. All right. Yeah, they've they've now rolled. Oh, it looks like I had the dice. Maybe I'm in control. Of oh, this. did I make the wrong person yeah. owner? Okay, hold on. I can fix this. You know, why don't we just kill her off? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Only fair. Yeah. I, yeah. And then um, I'll make. Yeah. Well, isn't sorry, it a little I'm... zippy? That's the problem. I'm just kidding. Don't no. tell her I said that. <laughs> well, then you know, don't tell her that that little zippy doesn't choose you know theater over the damn game. I'm right. That's true. I'm totally <laughs> messing with <laughs> But seriously. Um, Cliff is not, and then David is now the owner. So now you should have full control over the zipster, and yeah. the leashster. Easter. All right. So who's running? So what's your what's your what's your your stack here? Um, and I need you guys to, to, to sort of describe what you're doing, right? Not just like we're going to go attack stuff. I need to know how you're going to attack stuff. What's your plan? I think we can we can sort of advance slowly down the hallway with uh, a, at least a couple of uh, ranged attackers at front, ready to take down anybody coming down this incredibly long hallway. I like it. So, gentle reminder, we're playing a new game right now. Double-click your character and look at your inventory and make sure that if you want your chain mail equipped or not equipped or your your shields equipped or not equipped, that is that is equipped. Right? Um, this is your gimme because once we get out of combat, once, if we, once we get into combat, like, taking off your, your gear is going to be an, uh, an action. Where oh, there's, is... a lot, there's a lot of debate about that, about swapping weapons. Is being in action. Mm -hmm. Lots, lots of debate. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of torn. I convince myself each way. Well, because I can kind of see it either way. Because it's a, it's kind of like the whole like, you know, like you know, somebody runs out of ammunition and then just pulls out, you know, like Neo, when he walks into the building, from uh, well, the Matrix, like he sure. drops guns and then he just whips out, you know, two other. But he stops firing while he's swapping weapons, which would be his turn. Yes, right. That is that is also true. It's a tough one. <laughs> All right. So when everyone's ready to roll, um, move your characters. I'm going to give you just for a split second um, free movement. Do not move past um, uh, like two squares above Noodle, or else well, I'll make bad things happen. So <laughs> so stack. Get into this sort of the order you want to be in now. Where did you say our inventory was again? Uh, oh, double click, second tab. It's, yeah. right in, it's right in front of my face. And um, Nick and Noodle, I, I, I created some build outs for you for your characters in the HUD down below. You have yes. three build outs. Um, feel free to, you, you drag that little icon onto your portrait to get rid of it and then drag a new one from your inventory if you want it there instead. But I just didn't okay. want you guys to have to like, like figure that out while we played. Okay. Can <clears throat> we get that cool little uh HUD to come up. Um, select your character or any character, and then over on the left hand side, make sure that the token controls is selected. That's that little dude. And then in the second row, the two little swords that are crossed. Like, oh, ah. Argon Combat HUD. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thanks. I, this is, I wish it just always was on. Right? But it seems to like lose track of itself. And if you change, and you can go into your settings for those of you on a MacBook or whatever, um, you can change the scale so you can make it bigger or smaller and change its, its themes, its colors, all that crap. But sort of resizing it is, is kind of nice if you're on a laptop because it takes up a lot of room. Yes. Right? I remember um, that. Yeah, so feel free to scale it to your heart's content. Now, I'm on a giant-ass, like, 34-inch curved monitor. <laughs> Brag. Um, yeah, yes, real I, nice. I'm but um, <laughs> So I have all of my stuff is along the bottom. It's pretty, pretty sweet, actually. Um, <laughs> but, you know, one of my staff, you know, has a, a 40, what, I think a 48 inch monitor. So like, I'm clearly the loser in that scenario. 
All right. Um, so tell me when you guys are stacked up, because then I'm going to lock you down, and then movement will cost you, right? You'll have X amount of things. So either tighten up or stay loose, hang loose, whatever you want to do. Like, guy like tell Fafia be up, up front, maybe, or, or at least... Ready. So yeah, I, yeah. Like right now, I think yeah, that, um, that I think Skylar, Skylar, you're you're right now, sort of in the back. Do you want your ranged people at first? Is that what you said? Yeah, at least at least for this like. All right, so I'll move Fabia to help until until they start rushing. You want me to move? Like, Should I move? Do you want me to move Skylar, or are you going to move yourself, Stephen? Or um, well, Skylar? I got a crossbow. Where do you want me to go to? Oh, oh, no, Skylar no. and Fabia up front. Yeah, so basically like this just sort of stacking up, right? Because you're in yep. marching orders. This becomes, you know, it's like, this thing's only about 10 foot wide, right? So the order you're in matters pretty soon. Yeah. <clears throat> and then everyone else and stack got, up and behind if them. They start, if they start getting close, then, then Karen can, uh, you know, maneuver well, around. Leading, and That's why it, I was leading, leading distance. So I can still fire straight. It doesn't matter how far I'm away, but Karen can step in if they get close. And then that lets me switch my weapons. That's why I'm right. standing there, Thomas. Gotcha. So I'll move you back if you want. Like I'm just trying to to yeah, fast just don't be behind any, anybody since you need line of sight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I so, rotate be... your character again. Okay, you hold shift and hit an arrow on your keyboard. That's right. All right. That's um, right. Last question, and I, I turned off movement, so I'm only the one only one who can move you guys to fast forward this. Little Zippy okay. is Little Zippy visible or invisible? Um. Uh... Uh, he's not currently out right now. He is literally out right now, so I'm going to remove him then. Where's where he at? He's now uh, off the map. I, I, oh, I, did, I see. I just Where was it. he at on the map? He was to the right of you, like a right of Nick. Right next to you. Oh. I had, because I, I, I didn't see, I couldn't see him at all. Interesting. Okay, so this is your last, okay. last chance to do anything. To call Zippy is an action for Fabia. Okay. So if you want him in the battle, it'll take it'll cost her an action. Okay? Okay. Unless you unless you want him in now. Like that's this is your last chance. Nope. Okay. So we're good to go. Bing, Nick, Noodle, Karen, Fabia, and Skylar leading. Alright. Um in order of the combat, you're not in combat combat, but um Skylar and and Fabia um move forward. Can you, can you move me back? Uh, next to Karen, so we can get by if needed. Okay, so you are here now. So this is how you're gonna. This is how you're gonna roll, right? Let's do it. Let's All right. Go. So how far do you guys want to move forward? I'm gonna move the party as a group. So how far do you want to move forward? Let's do 30 feet. Just do yeah. we see anything different Five. as we walk down the hallway? You do. Here's 30 feet right here. You ready? Drop yep. Yep. Oh, oh crap! Hundred goals. All right, so this room just opened the fuck up, oh. as they say, you know, in 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 school. Um, let's add these guys to the combat tracker. Sheesh. All right, and you guys are are close enough to this guy. I want you guys to roll. Um, everyone, roll a stealth. B to ten. Stealth, and that's in this little tiny thing. Wait, Whoa! <laughs> a bang! Ba ba da bang! Ba da boom! Oh, that was Fabia. Uh, oh. Where am I at? I don't know. Are, are there you... enough dice out there? <laughs> <laughs> so they didn't hear you guys, but they heard all these dice like clattering across the. Uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> okay, so, so so two things are happening here. Um... Boom. Um. Here's what you see. It's in the chat. Oh, we and gotta yeah. look at the chat again. How well, do I or, swap between characters? So, so do you guys I see have Fabia set up for me? Okay, hold on. I'll tell you one second. Do you guys see like okay. when I say show? Do you guys like a big ass picture on your screen now? Yeah. No. Big ass well. picture. Oh, now I do. Oh, yeah. oh, oh there it is. It. Yeah. You can wow. click on it yourself. 
Yeah, so this is a, this is an artist rendition. This is like a courtroom artist rendition of scenes, just so you know. Um, I've 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 clearly landed on a mid-journey AI style for all of my artwork, as you guys yes. have maybe picked up. I do think <laughs> I do think it adds a little bit of something, right, to, yeah, to help cool. you visualize. Absolutely. Um, now back to this crappy uh, watercolor version of this. Um, the uh, <laughs> you can close that. So yeah, so look, you guys. Um, I. I go back and listen to myself read these, you know, by the way, and my ability to read the text is embarrassing. I'm like a third grade reader in this, in these things, but whatever. So, um, steep <clears throat> escarpments, uh, divide this large cavern into three section, section high ledges at either end and a lower section in the middle. Carved stone stairs climb up the ledges. Two large tables stand in the middle of the section, um, along with a pair of old braziers. A smaller table stands on the eastern ledge. The skeletal remains of dozens of dead warrior dwarves, gnomes, orcs, ogres, attest to the fierceness of the fighting that took place here e eons ago. And as you guys have discovered, something's feasting on their bones. Oh, no. So, um, so looking at your stealth rolls, um, Mr. Bing, are you wearing armor? Uh, leather. You're fine. So I'm, yours is good to go. Um, I have to scroll back up and look. I'm also in the back. So. Yeah, you, yeah, you're in the back. So that's why your your role is was negligible. Um, Skylar, you're wearing you're wearing armor, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So the ghouls spin towards you guys. Uh oh. Yeah, you you, you I do took lost. Off my chain mail. Yeah, you've lost. Um, you've lost. And if you want to put it back on, it's going to require an action. So don't put it back on. Um, no, I'm good. So you guys have now sort of lost opportunity. Just so you know. Um, at least for the front, yeah, you know, front three, right? But you know, they've all sort of been startled. Um, there's a whole lot going on in this big cavern. All right, so we are now officially in combat. In combat. Ooh, there's a timer. Yes. Yeah, so let me explain the timer. We're not gonna we're gonna use it as guidance, but not as an enforcer right now. This timer is is basically gives you two minutes to do a thing on your turn, and when you How don't, many freaking ghouls. Look, there's enough, right? <laughs> there's enough ghouls to keep you busy for a while, right? It's making up for all that you know the, the nothing that happened for the first hour. Um, so this timer will click down, right? And it will let us let you know that like you've been, you know, you haven't taken your turn yet. And as it gets to the end, it'll get a little bit more intense and then it'll, the little alarm will go off and say like, your time is really officially up. Now I do not have it wired to automatically advance your turn. I do not feel like we're, I think we're mature enough to not need that, but I did want something to sort of indicate where we are. So I've been babbling along, right? For, for quite some time and haven't done a damn thing. I'm going to, I'm going to remedy that now. So this ghoul is coming right in. Boom. And Favia was the first thing it saw, so it puts Favia on notice, as they say. I have to get over here. I mean... Are you sure? It looks like he's targeting Skylar. Favia. Mm. I don't know yeah, who's targeting. Bus, is, it, does someone else have Sky? Because I also looks like Noodle's targeted, but I'm, I'm targeting... I'm targeting Fabia because I right click targeted. So, is anyone else targeting Skylar? Whoever's red and um, whoever's green are targeting Noodle and Skylar. Uh oh. Now I'm starting to feel the pressure! Claws. It attacks with its claws. And, you know, maybe it was just, you know, like the shift in momentum, but huzzah, this ghoul missed. Now, I do believe. And does this ghoul have multi-attack? It does not. I just need to know that for the future. You only get multi-attack if you hit on your first one. It is the end of the ghoul's turn, as you heard. It's now Fabia's turn. Let's go, Fabia. Yeah, All right. Now, Fabia is um, Fabia's within five feet. If Fabia tries to attack with the bow, you have to do it with a disadvantage. Okay. I'm try. Where did... Right. She has her bow equipped, just so you know. Um, she all. Wait a second. Oh God. Yeah. So okay. she, unless she has a dagger, then it's a, a weapon switch. 
or disadvantage? <clears throat> Um, she try to disengage and go back in the stack a little bit, get some distance. Damn you, person who understands how to play. <laughs> uh-huh. did, would she get that without opportunity attack? Um, disengage. If you take the dis- if you take the disengage action, your movement doesn't provoke opportunity for the rest of the turn. So she can choose disengage, but that is an action, right? right. And it- and one of the handy things about this HUD, if you look at the bottom below all of the things you can do, it'll say main action, bonus, free, reaction, yeah, pass, right? That's cool. Yeah, so we know that disengage is an action. So she can move away, but that's her action. But it does it does get her, you know, out of um, melee range. Only leaving right. Skylar and Karen exposed. It's your call. Why uh, fall back? Why didn't she just switch, switch her weapon? That's uh, what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, because... switch my weapon. Yeah, I'll go because he's already attacked. So I'll go ahead and switch uh, switch weapon to short sword. All right, that's your action. You have yep. all of your so, movement, but you can no longer disengage. Where are so you moving? About... No, I'm trying to. What do you want to move to? You want to you want to choose the sword? No, I just yeah, I just want to swap swords. That's okay, so above that above the token, so like ignore yep. ignore the thing. That's now we know. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> where it says save spells tools right above that you'll see there's three tool sets it's like bow bow save sword sword spells. right so click the middle click the middle one hang on save spells swords yes where, in inventory no no so do you have your HUD open do you have your action yeah. HUD at the bottom the of the screen yeah the HUD's open yep okay see her picture her deep yes. green eyes right I know you're mesmerized because yes. she's in real life your wife all right. <laughs> if you look above her green eyes, there's yes. three sets of weapons. Those yes. are what are called weapon sets. The left one okay. is your primary weapon. The the okay. right one is your secondary weapon. So there's Click three em. of them. Click okay. the middle. The middle one is her swords. Or you can yep. also choose um, the third one, which is her um, whatever she has, staff or something. Right. Quarter staff. Yeah. So choose whichever, whatever you want to switch to. Short or, sword, go in, or, or go into your inventory and equip whatever weapon you want it to be. Short, short, inven- done. Okay. All right. So I don't see that change. Did you change it? I I clicked on the. There it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And are you moving? Are you staying where you are? Staying where I am. End turn. Right. End turn. Okay. This brings us to Karen. Yeah. All right. So Karen, you see, you know, you you know, looking past this ghoul, you see the other ghouls, sort of hungering to make their way towards you guys. You know, you assess the situation, you realize you're in a pretty small hallway. Which you could use to your advantage or could get messy. And to character, Karen is a creature of few words and many rages. <laughs> Swack. Unfortunately, misses. Mm. All right. This ghoul leaps down. Makes its way. Skadoosh. Ends its turn. This brings us to Nick Maylock. All right. I'm going to... Well, do I have to say what I'm going to do? I mean, it, it's, it is a role-playing game, so, I mean, we could just right. watch, I guess, in silence if you want. Nah. Do I... Uh, I double-click the character I want to attack, right? No, you right-click. You right-click it. Yep. You can also, I think, alt-click it, but you right-click it, and then that little like menu comes up, and there's one that's like three concentric circles, like a dot and then two circles around it. If you click that... That means, huzzah, you have now targeted. And you'll see your dot for whatever color you've chosen for your character will appear above that item. Or above that that character. Okay, so right now I have four four arrows on either corner pointing inward towards the guy that I want to attack. That person, that that character is now targeted. Okay. 
So I am going to do a chromatic orb. All right. Is that a line of sight? Guy. That's not a. That does not. That's not ranged, right? That's um. That's just a. It is. You see. It is a ranged, but I have a feat that okay. gives me um. What the hell is it called? It's um, spell sniper. Okay. Oh, so so there's no chance of um. So. Even if if somebody is yeah, so I the I think it's like the most that I can have is like um, he pretty much acts as like half covered when he's uh, three quarters, three quarters okay. covered. Cool. So um, I am going to click chromatic orb. I approve uh, of this move. We'll do playing with my balls. Come on! God oh, damn it. It's a swing and a miss. So, I, so. For some reason, I didn't see anything happen, though. So, I don't know if I did it right or not. So, it says that you missed the ghoul. In the, uh, in the chat, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, in the chat. Yeah. Okay. So you, you missed a ghoul, which means that nothing happens. Ah, but something okay. does happen for this ghoul here. This ghoul gets pretty excited, right? Uh -oh. um, and, you know, screams this ghoulish scream and makes its way to right about <laughs> here. Now, now, Noodle, you're starting to get a little nervous, right? Because you're hearing these ghouls get super, super excited. Right and and start to sort of make a bit of a ruckus, right? And you're wondering like how far this sound carries, and what potentially could be attracted your way. To me, I'm just saying that's something that you're thinking to yourself. I'm your inner voice. Could, don't forget. What could go wrong? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm thinking all kinds of things. All is the kinds. Yeah, so they're coming, right? Like you know. Like That's student a loan, thing. yeah, they're like student loan debt, man, unforgiving and relentless, heading towards you. <laughs> okay, so I am going to. Cyrus is going to. Um, I need to come up with some good magic words for this, but um, I bless the rains down in Africa. Uh, I like so it. So I'm going to bless uh, Skylar, Karen, and Favia. Yes. Ooh, fancy. Thank you. So how do I do that? Select. So what happens then? Because I think I've got something like that. Yeah, you can multi-select. I, I think if you click, click, got click, it. it'll do multi. Yep. Got it. And so bless, basically, um, Good zoom time. whenever a target makes a an attack roll or saving throw before the spell ends, the target can add a... a can roll a d4 and add the number to the attack roll or the saving throw. Is that nice. <laughs> so yeah. the the battle music started literally as you were as you were talking. <laughs> Pretty good. Dramatic. I love it. Okay, in theory, I blessed them. Um, I believe you. They are blessed. Uh, let's see here. Wait, who did you bless? Um, yeah. See the little wings. The three wings. Around their their HUD. You bless Skylar, you bless Karen, and you blessed Bobby up. Yes. Around the yeah. HUD? No, I mean around their token. Around their token. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything's token centric. Yeah. Which sounds like oh, a turn. Yep. Uh huh. Like a bad uh -huh. '80s song. It's token centric. Oh, ghouls. Oh, and it shows up on the combat tracker, too. Yeah. All right, there you are. And turn. All right, make it count, folks. I'm assuming this... all those ghouls are moving, right, Thomas? They are, but see, he's going to jump down this cliff, but it's, it's, it's rough terrain, so it takes twice the distance, so he's only getting to the ledge. Uh-oh. So Noodle, you're thinking to yourself, like, what else do I know about ghouls? Well, because well, you know, you did that, you did that nature check earlier. Yeah. 
they fight to the death, you remember. Well, that's good. I switched weapons, Thomas. So if I can make them, I, I can make things undead, can it reverse it? You can turn undead. You can turn undead. I, yeah, but I can turn others undead, which wouldn't help me in this situation. Wait, I think you can undead. raise, you can. Okay, turn undead means that you can, you can, I think, make the undead not you dead. You can make them go away. Yeah. Mm. It just means you, like, scare them and they will kind of run away. So it. Maybe when when we get a few more closer to us, yeah. That one. Um, if, I, yeah if, if we get overwhelmed or something, it could be real yeah. handy. Yeah. Okay. So, so I. Did you? Sorry. Oh wait. Did you say they have it? a paralyzed attack? Yes. If they connect with their claws, that you have to roll a saving throw or be paralyzed. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And it is Noodle's yeah. turn. Yep. As as is evidence. I'm going. To... By the time I'm whipping out the wooden spoon, my spiritual weapon. Okay. Oh For this yes, guy. yeah. Yes. Uh, spiritual spoon. Yeah, and 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 sort of a ghost-like figure of our mom appears holding the wooden spoon. <laughs> right. In the other um, hand, her off hand is a is a Hot Wheels track. <laughs> orange, <laughs> like my dice. Um. <laughs> So I'm trying to right click this ghoul. Oh, I left clicked it. Okay. So it should be targeted, right? Yeah, you left click select, right click, do your thing. And then well no, so I mean, yeah, is it is a little three circles lit up when you right click over it? I'm not I don't see right I don't see little circles. I do see the four arrows. Okay, yeah, then it's targeted, yeah. Okay, and then and I want to do my spiritual weapon, so I I right click it, the icon of it. So you're gonna cast a spell. Yeah. So click cast spell. Yeah, and up my spiritual weapon came up. And a shit ton of spells came up, right? Yeah. Um, and click spiritual weapon. I'm thinking it'll which and if you notice it'll say what levels by the way because you can cast it at different levels. And this tool is a two. Okay, yeah. so cast it. Yeah, this tool is especially cool for people that are for like for spellcasters. Mm. Whoa! That's did everything what? just go red? Yeah. Yeah. Is that because um, the timer ran out? Whoa! There's a no spiritual. You create a floating spirit, <laughs> floating spectral oh, weapon yeah. that lasts for the duration until you cast a spell again. You cast a spell, you make a melee spell attack against a creature within five against a creature within five feet of the weapon. On hit, the target takes force damage equal to 1d8, your spellcasting ability modifier. As a bonus action, on your turn, you can move the weapon 20 feet and repeat the attack against a creature within five feet of it. So you can you can do this and move it again. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Um, so so you're, um, you have yourself targeted, Noodle. I don't know why. So right How click your my... right click yourself, <laughs> and then if you see those three little circles that are targeted, like the little three little circles next, you know, like unclick that. Where are these three little circles supposed to be? Okay, so did you click your character, Noodle? Yeah. And now, oh, unclick your... it now. Okay, got it. Oopsies. Yeah, and um, also it looks like Nick, are you orange as well, or did she have you targeted too? Um, am I orange? What do you mean? Well, I mean, so like Nick, who's targeting I Nick? Like, I don't even know. So Nick, someone's targeting Nick, whoever's okay. orange. So everyone click on Nick and right click and see if you've targeted Nick. Someone's also targeting Cliff and someone's targeting Fabia. I'm orange. Oh, it's probably me. And by the way, that's um, and it's and who's it's it's Cyrus is targeting um, Skylar, Karen, and Fabia because he blessed them, right? Yes. Yes. Right. So don't forget to untarget them. How, the I actually, how do you do that? I don't know how to untarget. Okay, so right yeah. click them, and then um, uh, hit the untarget button. So if you, it's like the three little circles, right? 
It'll go from orange to white. You can also, I believe you can alt click somebody and untarget and target that way. Let me see. The t select targets does not like toggle or anything. Does it look like? Well, yeah, it's turning on and off for me. Are, are you untoggling and toggling David? I mean, I'm sorry. Um, Fabia. So every everyone should be un unselected now. Yeah, the only person who's still targeted is um, Karen. Is seems to be targeted by um, Noodle. Oh. Yeah, and I I right clicked it, and it's not doing anything. So left click, left click Karen, and then right click Karen, and then the three little circles if they're orange, uncheck them. Boom. I'm... There he's he's gone now. There you go. You guys, yeah. this will get easier. I swear to you. All right. <laughs> it, it, it's still a little easier than Fantasy Grounds, wouldn't you say? All right. It so, will be. All right. So now, yeah. so now, um, as your bonus action, well, it applied it to yourself. I... That's the, that's the problem. Yeah, that is. Yeah. And there's no way for me to fix that for you. So you need to end your turn. I need to do what? End your turn because your turn's over. Wait, doesn't she, she gets a bonus action though, right? To... Well, the problem is, it, well, it applied her bonus, a, a bonus action applied to Noodle. Oh, it but applied I, the, the oh, yeah, I see. yeah, because she had, because she had selected herself. Um, however, if you want, I will give you your bonus action applied to the next ghoul, which is the sort of upper left, because it's within range, right? Because it does, yeah, it, was, does it do, you can move the weapon up 20 feet and repeat attack against a creature within five feet of it. So like this weapon is, can be moved. And I bet you don't know yeah. how to move that, do you? All right. Um, so no. so what, you, what you do is there's a little ruler oh God. in the upper left hand yeah. corner. Right, click the ruler, and then you'll see this little icon show up with like it looks like a exploding star thing. Drag it Am where I you want it. Am I left clicking? My Jesus, this is too. No, no, no. You'll get it. It's easy. It's easy. Okay, on the left side of your screen is the little the, your little like token controls, yeah. and right right below it says measure, measure distance. Right. So click measurement controls. Click that, and now mm -hmm. you'll see that in the middle of that target that you made is um yeah. A little blasty looking icon. Move that icon where you want it, next to the next to the the uh, the person you want to attack. Like like doing it? No, like this. Like see how I'm moving it? See how I just moved? Oh. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, I moved it for you this time. Now that means that you can attack that dude with your bonus. And so, what? How did? What was the attack? Spiritual weapon? Yeah. So then you attack, you target that guy. I'll do it for you this time, just to speed this up a little bit. And then we hit spiritual attack, cast spell. And you did it, what level did you do that? One or two? Two. And that should use a second spell slot though, just so you know. Uh, where the hell is spiritual attack at? What's it look like? Uh, silence, less restoration. Purple sword. I don't even see Purple it. Purple sword. It's under cast spell. Purple sword. It's yeah, like it's, it's a it's like pink, I guess. Pink and purple. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. You have used your bonus action this round. Do you want to proceed anyway? Yes. Cast spell. I didn't see anything happen. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Huzzah. There we go. Huzzah. Huzzah. Now we have. Did it work? I don't know. There's a giant icon in right next to the ghoul. Yeah, I see a glowy sword. Yep. All right, spiritual weapon, blah, blah, blah. All right. And then I think that ends your turn. Did it do anything? Doesn't it still seems like you have to do an attack with it, right? Yeah, but what do you, how do you, that's what I'm wondering. Like, how do you do that? So, cause I have it targeted and then I hit spiritual. I weapon. wonder, can she select it? Like, is it a, is it a, like a, like a Maybe familiar? Is she able to. So, so wait, uh, also, we should also roll for initiative. Could it show up in the next combat tracker? 
Well, it will once we once we end this round. But hold on, when you cast a spell, you can maintain a melee spell attack against the creature within five feet of that weapon. On a hit, the target takes force damage equal to one d eight of your. Oh, so is it not is it not hitting? Let me try it one more time and see what happens. And yes, it might, it might also show up as a um, in the. Uh, oh, the it hit me right? as an action. As where? Like, I feel like a lot of those kinds of things show up in the Argon HUD as one of your actions if you fish around. I don't know if it would be, it might be a free action. Um, like once you have it cast, it becomes available there. I don't know. Yeah, her free is channel divinity. Um, her use feature, her, her bonus is spiritual weapon, which is what I used. Um, and it's a melee weapon. So you know what we're gonna do, as weird as this sounds. We're just going to target this guy and then thwack him. Although it's not going to let us do this. It's going to say you're out of date. It floats, right? I mean, it's... Yeah, I don't I don't know what to do here, guys. I'm sorry, it's I broke. Like mage, it's kind of like Mage Weapon, isn't it? Is that, is that a... Do you manifest a weapon and it does attack? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very confused because it you took your like it automatically did it for you, but it took you took your bonus. So let's just end my turn and figure it later. All right. I mean, try it. Is that... All right, everyone, All right. roll for initiative. The ghouls have rolled. I don't know why it's still hanging there. I'm not getting the dice in the combat tracker. Oh, I'm sorry. How about now? What's up? There's also a little dice up above your little icon at the bottom as well. We need more dice. We. <laughs> oh my god, so many dice. <laughs> I know. That was awesome. Roll the one. Is that me? That had to have been. Oh, me. In five and both. Bottom Did of you the shelf. Didn't I roll? Uh, no. I rolled, right? There it nope. is. I rolled for you. Just now. Okay, because there's a roll for initiative above my picture on the left. Yeah, I pick, I click that one too. Well, I don't I'll know why you guys right did stuff that you're supposed to do. <laughs> And I have this rollable area. Somehow my dice and ice rollable area thing came up on my screen, and I have no idea. Oh, it applied. Oh there it man! Is. All right, cool. So now we've got this 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 ghoul coming at you. Did we hit him at all? <laughs> I don't. I don't think we did anything. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, we have. You guys in your fancy floating wooden spoons have like baffled. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I, I legit am can. I don't not know how to do this floating sword. You have two of them, by the way, going right now. Oh, really? I only see the one. Yeah, I think I need to. I think I need to delete this, and then it will, and the, there we go. And the AOE is the. It, there used to be a, two red AOEs, and they're gone now. All right, um, Ghoul's turn. No, oh, end's turn. End turn. Mister Bing. Do, do something normal so we can we can see something happen. <laughs> um, uh, I I don't know what I can do for Pat here, frankly. Um, you have any? What is? I because I'm I don't have line of sight to anybody, and um, I'm I'm just gonna sit tight. I I really wish I could like do something. You can ready yourself, just as a reminder. Um, well, actually, first, I'm going to take a look behind me and just see if I make sure I don't hear anybody coming up from the rear. Roll a perception. Hey, Fabia, either you have to take one for the team and move out so we can get out of this bottleneck, or we have to kill this ghoul so we can get out. <laughs> you can move, uh, you can move, um, it's, it's called rough terrain, so you can move half your distance by pushing through her. Yeah, so so being yep. like 
all this, you know, all hell's breaking loose to the north, uh, to the south. You don't hear anything but silence. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's all I can really do at the moment. All right, Mr. Skylar. Captain attacking his ghoul. And uh, yeah, send it. Right click the ghoul, target it, or else you're not close. Oh. It won't count. All right, you hit the ghoul. There we go. We hit something, y'all. Yeah. Hey. It's the whack. The whack. Uh, oh wow, I like you that. Just wanted some serious to do, uh, I'm gonna do um, one of my um, moves, which is um, oh, say the robot. Uh, action surge. <laughs> okay, what's, what's action surge do? You can take one additional action on your turn, and this can be used. I have to roll the die so many times. Okay. We're really learning this tool quickly, you guys. <laughs> the, uh, do we think the plus three on that damage was from Bless? That's the point of Bless, right? Or yeah, like, that's yeah. A bless. that should be the Bless. Okay, I was making sure that added it in. Yeah, I've done a bunch of testing, and like things that I didn't even know should be added in have been added in. Nice. So I feel like we were missing things on Fantasy Grounds, honestly. Um, but I've also heard rumors of like things that shouldn't have been added in inadvertently being added in. <laughs> So, but at least it, it, it biases towards you guys. All right, so Skylar, like, let's see. How do you do this thing that you're doing? Yeah, I I was testing it before, and I had the the thing come up. Now it's not. I had a, like a thing come up, a menu to let me use it, but now it's not coming up. Is it a feature? Yeah. So if I click your feature, it says psionic power, telekinetic, and um, actions action surge. I see second wind. So I got, did you use it inadvertently? I don't think so. No, it says I have one left. Yeah, we haven't seen it in the combat tracker. Uh, maybe, because, maybe it's because I have um, a, a guy selected. Oh, try and unselecting him then, maybe? So I did. So, the, so by the way, the HUD's not the only way to get to things. If you double click your token, you can go into things, uh, into all your your normal stuff, right? Whoa! That's your character okay, sheet. Yeah. So the other, so the the traditional way to play is using your character sheet. But nice. don't forget, you'll want to have something targeted. And it looks like you're placing down an icon. It looks like. That was me, and I didn't mean to do that. Did it I'm use just... a spell slot? No, it didn't. Okay. I was drawing a I was drawing a cone. I just roll something. You yeah. did. You rolled a one for something. Who me? No, Skylar rolled two ones, or he rolled a one. What are you trying to do here? Action surge. It's okay. I don't, I don't know. Well, roll right. Working. Right click. The, it's like target the character. Well, it wouldn't. It it just gives me. It's not a. It's not. You don't do it on somebody. Oh. Okay. It just means. It just means. Um, this can be used scaled roll per slot. So if you do this, it says. Um, how many times per short rest? So starting second level, you've blah, 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 limit for a moment. You can take one additional action. Okay, so you can use, you can do one action. So take another action is all you do. That's what it means. Exactly. All right, let me, let me attack this guy again. Make sure you've targeted him. I miss. And you miss. But right, we learned a thing. Yes. Yeah, like we're getting there, you guys. This'll, this'll, we'll come yeah. around. What is going on here? It's asking me to put down something. No, delete. I don't know what that was. Oh, I had the wrong button selected. Sorry. See, I did the same thing I told you guys about. 15, you know 20. To... So I have measurement controls and cone templates set up right now. How do I unclick those? See the little picture of the of the little character, like a little round head with some yeah. shoulders. Token controls? Click that. Ah, OK. Yeah. Gotcha. Speaking of gotcha. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. You see some claws coming at you. Oh, yes. for God's sakes. <laughs> Jeez, <Jeez, Mary. laughs> We've got to get out of here, though, guys. We're like sitting, like, sitting. Yeah, we are. Fabia's sitting ducks, man. Yep, for yeah, sure. I think we mainly got to get Fabia out of that spot. 
Um, I think we need to push out. Yeah, but we're uh, now now we have mobs like right in front of us, so it's, I don't think we can get past them. Um, Thomas, you, you is can gonna, you can push can past I, them. It, it just uses half, half your just half your um, half your movement. Can I pick up Fabia and move her out of the way? You can. You want to do an action? Like, yeah. You you as your action, you can throw Fabia. Wait, is she paralyzed or something? No, no, uh, but no she could wanting... very easily be right now because she has um, two attackers on her. If I throw oh. her, though, that sounds like she's going to end up prone. Just what's no, the... No, she'll, she'll roll an athletics check to see if she lands on her feet. she have to be to 10. I was thinking of, like, a cool, a cool move, a cool buddy move. What's the... Yeah, like the Colossus throw with Wolverine? <laughs> so, so here's the deal. So, so I love your, I love your Moxie. Um, yeah, you can do a cool move and and swap places, like basically swap places with her, right? Um, but I'll, I'll if you do it, just I'll have you roll uh, an uh, an acrobatic, acrobatic. Check, right? And oh, nice. if you get if you get above a ten, then they do not get a they do not get a. a they're not going to get an attack on her because you were did it with such style and flair they didn't expect it. If you get a below a ten, then there's two there's two ghouls that are going to get an opportunity to attack on her. Oh yeah, but it's it will rough. be a it, it'll be a bite, not a claw. Just as a heads up. Okay, so How you about... make the call. So ah uh, crap. And that, that's Karen rolling acrobatics, right? Mm-hmm. That's Karen. I was going to say just. <laughs> I was just gonna say pile drive me. Yeah, I, must, I think I just threw you into a wall. <laughs> so like just lift. What's the WWF where you lift up and you? Yeah. So here's the deal. Yeah. Slam. Don't, I'll, yeah. I'll swap you. I'm gonna swap you in a second because yeah, the the swap worked. The problem is these each of these ghouls is going to get um, an bite attack, attack, and it's gonna be a bite I, because that's what I had uh, agreed to. Ah, so, so the the one to the north well, is heal. is biting is is doing a bite, but you know they've not connected yet. So why would this yeah. be the time they? Connect? Nobody has any damage, right? Oh, oh there so... you go. There's the there's the ah. So she did. Re so yeah. Um, so she did, so she got to do a reaction on because of her character. Um. So do so I click on the reaction? Uh, yeah, click it. Not. Something should have popped up, right? Uh, so when I, I try, I try and click reaction, and it's not. For some reason, it's not. Martial melee, bonus. Why? Is it targeted? Which one hit me? The north. The one to the north. Okay. Uh. There we go. Now let's try it. There we go. Oops, I clicked it twice. Oops. I didn't mean to. Uh, you have used your reaction this round. Do you want to proceed anyway? No. No. Yep. So, right. so you reacted and did 12 points. So this is working out pretty well for you, Karen. Wow. <laughs> um, oh, the, shit. The, so the other ghoul, so the other ghoul gets a target. Um. And targets Fabia. And does uh, well because it's that's who's who's who flipped around, right? And does a bite attack? Oh, thank God! Right. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so misses. All right. So on that note, then I'm gonna fl I'm gonna swap you guys around. So let me do that real quick. All right. And Fabia is now. Um, Done, Karen. Oh. You've 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 used you know end your turn. You've uh you've burned up your turn, but you are now flopped places. And weirdly, like that actually worked out good for you guys. So yeah. incredibly well. Yes. Yeah. What was the what was the reaction that uh that Fabio got? Uh, luckily I swapped over, luckily I swapped weapons, uh, to my short sword, so I was able to swap, I was able to swap him with my, swat at him with my, uh, short sword <laughs> as a reaction. No, but, 
how how did the reaction how does the reaction happen so you pretty much you have to target whoever is attacking you no i mean you mean what triggered it right yes yeah. oh yeah, okay yeah that's fair yeah so i think i think it's part of her i think it's part of her fifth level character is that she gets she gets a reaction i have to look at her hold on oh okay. i see okay it's yeah, a I think feat. It's, it's a feature it's a right? fighter feat okay cool mm -hmm. Yeah, she has a ridiculous number of like things that we didn't know. Like I would have never in Fantasy Grounds, by the way, everyone like, oh, you get a reaction right now. <laughs> um, but I would, what I would do is I would move a ghoul right next to you guys. Thank you. How cozy. Let's have yeah. a ghoul traffic jam. Oh, so, I'm trying to look at where that's at. Oh, there it is, reaction. Yeah, so there's that. So we got to the ghoul. The ghoul comes up right, right after, like sees this, like sees you guys sort of. You throw Fabia sort of through the air and like flip her around your head, and she lands on her feet while, like raising up her sword and taking a good thwack at this ghoul friend. This guy like comes blundering up, goes for bite, and you do get hit, and can use a reaction. Why can you use a reaction? I wonder. <laughs> Yeah, keeps Which doing one attacked me? <laughs> the, I have a skill called interception, but I think it only oh. it's a reaction when allies are attacked. I don't think it applies to me. All right, so there we go. And that ends that ghoul's turn. Boom. Oh, look, All another. Right. A ghoul's going to, he's jumping down. You'll notice, though, that he's jumping down a chasm, which takes up twice his his movement, so he doesn't get to move quite as far. All right, so he lands just beyond these tables. Bam! Ends his turn. Boom! I kind of miss the random names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can, you know what? Um, that that was that was a uh, that was a, an extension called um, NPC Flavors, right? So either it would give you the name, or oftentimes I would give it my own names, like Bob Goblin and Gob Boblin. <laughs> There was also Bob and Rob Goblin, my favorite, the Goblin Brothers. Um, yes. yep. That was, you guys, that was session two, by the way, just so you know. Bob and Rob Goblin. <laughs> Next up is another ghoul. And here we are. Oh, God. This is like. I want to make sure this that. This is like seven days to die. <laughs> We're about to get. It, it's very hard to, to maintain who's targeted, right? So, so I'm going to do that by looking at them. So Skylar, you now are looking, you know, eye to what's left of eyes with this, uh, you know, with this ghoul. And, you know, you see his claws come flying at you. Oh! Oh, it God. freaking misses! Son of a biscuit! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Noodle. You know what I want to do. You're standing in a pool of blood. If you say spiritual weapon, I'm going to, like, not know what to do with you. <laughs> no, I mean, I, 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 I'm sure that's what she wants to do. Yeah, I think you just need to target. I think I think you get to do um, two people, right? So I think you target both of them. Am I right? So here's, hit... here's the thing. Um, uh, in the combat tracker, there are also targets. Can I click one of those? Like, right under their name in the target or in the combat tracker. Try it. So I'm hovering and so it would be this one right above me. Okay, so that's Did so that's that target? a target. No, that just pinged it. So like that, that's really yeah. cool. I didn't know you could do that, but that likes like, hey, I'm talking about this one right here. Right here. Yeah. Oh, However, okay. if you if you right click on it, you can No, you can target it. Yeah. There. Look Did it. I target it? Yes. You got the the upper of the three, you got the one in the upper left. Okay, I was not going for that one. Oh, okay, which one were you going for? The one that's closest to us. It's the right. one above. It's the one above the... you on the combat tracker. Right. So well, then, nothing uh... happened on my end. Nothing. So untarget the one in the the untarget this one. By right clicking it again. Well, it looks like it's now already untargeted. Didn't touch it. What That's color, the weird thing. What, what color is your what, what color is your selector? Hold on, one second. Orange. Orange. 
Um, orange. Okay, yeah. so right right click the ghoul, and then um, the one that you're trying to target. Well, first left click it to make sure it's selected, and then right click it, and it'll bring up a menu, and then choose the target things. Nope, it did not. I left clicked it, then I right clicked it, and nothing changed. Well, when you right clicked it, then a menu came up, and did you click something then? No menu came up. How about if you alt click it? Alt left click? Yeah, alt left click. All right. All right, that helps. Yeah. That's the now traditional that one way. Targeted. All right. And while you get, I'll be right back. One second. Talk amongst yourselves for like uh, one minute. All right. So do I click my. Tom. Yeah, wait. Yeah, just close, avert your eyes. <laughs> Shut your eyes! Wait, hold on. Marion, shut your eyes! Share this? Am I sharing my screen? No. Not yet. Did you target us? Oh, lie. <laughs> there it oh, is. There we go. Watch stream. Oh, my I was So I was seeing something. So this kind of goes by fast, but. I have a wide array of spiritual weapon tokens or actors I should say that I can choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and import one of them right now. Spiritual weapon mall. Blah blah. Next I'm gonna go ahead and I'll be right back. Statistics match up with the statistics of Kenyan. So there's like a spiritual weapon actor? 
Ah. So there is there is a tab called actors on Where is that at? Where did I see that? I saw that as well. Oh, uh, it's up below the it's below the uh, combat tracker. It's on the right hand side of the screen where you can collapse and expand all of those widgets. Yeah. And it's the if you have it collapsed like I do, it's uh, below the combat tracker. And if you click on actors, oh, it just brings up me. <laughs> mine. No, but hold on. Let's see what else. It's probably to bring up the ones relevant or that you can control. Show my token, sequence layer, journal notes, drawing tool. Compa it's not in companions. Okay. Maybe it's somewhere up there. Anybody what have I missed? missed? Okay, here I am. <laughs> Not just a lot of my screen is just blinking. Everybody's screen's blinking. What's going on with that? I don't know. We were just sitting here. <laughs> no, um, I. I'm so confused. There's a giant. Uh, I, love, okay. I love that. So catch me up, <laughs> right? I walked away. I said, hold on one second. I come back. There's a giant purple sword <laughs> like on top of everyone. Am I to remove that? Is it doing a thing? Look, we don't know. It's don't been know like we... <laughs> but it looks like there's supposed to be like an actor. To be the spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what that that big purple sword is. It's just trying to figure out how to control it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now that kind of makes I'm sense. I'm going to waste my turn again. Um, but it's not selectable. I'm not touching it because I've got everybody on the screen blinking. Green and red. Yeah, I don't see any. Wait, hold on. Spiritual weapon. Hold on. If I go to measurement. OK, I can now change. There's a bunch of spiritual weapons. I'm going to move one out of the way. Well, I thought I was moving one out of the way. And then there's also this one. What? So you some, yeah, there's two of them. Because I have two attacks per turn, right? That would make sense. So if I put them on top of these guys, then what does that mean? What does that does that do something for you? I'll put it on. Well, I don't know. Measured template. OK, wait, hold on. There's this guy. Oh, wait. <laughs> I do not understand. I, I will. Um, so you watched the video while I was gone, right. right? No, I don't well, want you to blow through your turn. It. It's, it's okay. So you want to? Shall I? Do you want me to keep streaming it? Uh, well, no. It's up to you. So Mark, you you now control Noodle's character with her. If you want to, so you're you can also be that you can be her. I think there's. Uh, I was just googling. There's a. Um, I found a. Uh, a Reddit thread about it and how to use it in Foundry, but it sounds like there's some DM setup that has to happen. Like you have to create like an actor that can be controlled by that person and can be moved to attack. Like that. Yeah, that's just, what it kind of sounded like uh, too. Oh, wait, hold on, hold can on. Can I just that, roll some yeah. dice this time? Can but I what, just? Can we? So what, well, what can that act? Well, what can that actor do? I think, I it just think that actor does the attacking. Um, so that. So from the little bit that we watched in the video, it sounded like the actor is either um, like a mace or a hammer or okay. a sword or a dagger, whatever that. And it's whatever. Apparently, there was a bunch of. Um, so much like the purple dagger that we were seeing on our screen, apparently that icon can be changed for that particular spell and can have attributes and attack points attached to it much like create like if you were to create a weapon essentially so if i go to hold on if i go to here uh commoner and i rename it i double click it and i rename it spiritual weapon <laughs> right <laughs> Uh, 
All right. And um, that's awesome. And then we get, and we go here and we, we click this thing. Just give me just two shakes of a lamb still, guys. I'll be done in just a second. Mm -hmm. I apologize. Tonight's been kind of. And what, what, and you want your weapon to be a spoon, right? Wooden spoon. Spoon. Let me find you a good wooden spoon. I mean. There, wooden spoon. Two wooden spoon. All right, so we go here, bloop, bloop, and we say but, spoon. It's just a big black, uh, here we go, spoon. And then I go here, and I say this thing, and I go oh, appearance, oh, what, Tom? a spoon, and okay. I say spoon. What I say? I just, uh, <laughs> never mind. You, sh you sh shame on whatever you were saying. All right, and then what weapon does this, what weapon does this, this wooden spoon have? A club? Or what's the weapon that it has? I'm not sure what you mean. Well, it, it, you oh, said what's it hit the damage. Yeah, what is it? Oh, the spiritual mm -hmm. weapon. Yeah, what's it? What to it's do? What? Floating spectral One, weapon, right? Uh huh. It's just a spectral weapon. 1D, but what, uh, 1D6 or 1D8 or plus... So 1D8 plus my spellcasting ability modifier. There it is. Yeah. What's your, what's your spellcasting modifier? Do I have to look at my person? And does it, and does it automatically hit? No, I think you have to... It oh, says, it's a, it's, you have to roll for it. Yeah, it says on a hit, the target takes damage. Okay. I think we got it. Okay, so hold on. 1D8. Okay. Plus your and cast modifier plus. Now I hit save. I close this, and then we have now we have a it basically it has a club that you're going to attack with. It's a wooden spoon, but it's a club. All right, and I close this down. And where did this character go? It's now inside of here. And Noodle, there's now a spiritual weapon, and all players can observe, and Noodle. Owns it. Save. Do you guys see a wooden spoon over in your actors? Well, you don't because I haven't drug it onto the damn map. But watch this. I'm oh, drugging yeah, it on the I map. See it. I see spiritual weapon in the actors. Bam. There is now. I'm getting rid of. Um, hold on. I'm getting rid of. I'm getting rid of this. That, that dagger. Yeah, the purple dagger. I'm getting rid of all that crap because then when she wants to do spiritual weapon, she just we just move this spoon twice, right? I think that's probably what you what you saw. Oh, there it is. I see it. <laughs> All right. Great. So you've got a wooden Excellent. spoon now. Excellent. That wooden spoon is a character that you control. Click it, and you'll see that it shows up in your HUD as a wooden spoon. Target <laughs> Target your... Wooden spoon is a little zippy. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Fabio has a little zippy. You've got a freaking wooden spoon. <laughs> I'm afraid to hit anything on my screen because I've got um, two of the guys, two of the ghouls, and Karen, uh, Favia, and Skylar are, are blinking green for me. Yeah, so you want to unselect those guys. So do that alt thing? Mm hmm. Confusing, huh? Doesn't matter. Why they're still alt. Can you take care of that, Tom? Um, if I choose oh, you. Oh, there it is. I'm not frozen. Am I frozen? Oh my god. I hear now. I hear all of you. Do you not hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry it took nine years. He's, he's not mad at us. He... I'm here. I promise you, I'm here. Oh, no. They're gone. Did I lose internet? I may have lost internet. He's looking to see if he lost internet. The router says he has not lost it.
try to get back in here. Okay, what do we got going on here? Do we not have internet? It says I no longer have internet. What's going on here? Um, hmm. Good times. Is this on? Hi. Um, hello. There he is. He's back. We got yeah. him. My internet went down. Oh. oh. Jesus. A look on your face. <laughs> because, you know, the, because, because this this has been the weirdest, like, session ever. Um, Not like Broken Fantasy Grounds weird, but just in general. Yeah, just in general, for sure. I'm trying to get back on, but um, unfortunately it says that the Game Master is already logged in. <laughs> oh, no. So, oh, no. hold on, maybe hold on. Should, maybe you should call it. It looks like... Well, I want to. I, I want to get back on to, to just at least end end the session. So just give me a second to do that. We gotta hit something with that wooden spoon. Yeah, yes. like that. Right. That, that, um, that I think so is. So here's my rule. thing. I, it no longer. It's you know, like my character. I pull up the um, my spiritual weapon. This has nothing to pull up. So oh. I'm not sure if I use it like a. I think you might have to switch to that as a character. Um, yeah. In the actor list, you might be able to like double click on it. You're um. Oh, is the sp is the spoon gonna do an unarmed strike? That'd be that. No, be it's it's doing so. Basically, your spoon is your spoon's holding a club. So, um, your ah. your stuff's gonna stop for a second. You're gonna have to log back in real quick because everything okay. just went went kaplooey. So the server's restarting. Oh, and then, oh okay. my god! It and was I'm, the spoon. It killed it. This has been yeah. an interesting. Uh, this has been an interesting. <laughs> interesting. Night. Yes. Just all right. That's reloading. Um, let me restart the server. Will we have to do that? Like, okay, Mark, you're guiding Bolt. Yeah, you'll all. It'll be right where we left off. No, but um, I mean, does he have to have? Is it the same type of thing? He'll need an icon, or nope. is it that's something no. different because this is an actual thing? Is that <laughs> yeah. why? Okay. Yeah, yeah that's why I think. But I swear, did we ever use spiritual weapon before? I have. I used we it on the other it. one. All the yeah, we used it in uh, Fantasy Grounds. It's where the wooden spoon came from. Well, yep. plus one for Fantasy Grounds in their column for that one. <laughs> when I was just, but I could just roll dice. It's so Tom. Something interesting came up when I tried to relog on to uh, Foundry. Um, I think I typed coffee, coffee, coffee into the administrator password which says return to setup well i'm just i'm just yeah you just close it i'm just really excited that you told the entire internet our password but uh, thank you yeah for let's let's, oh. yeah. let's not put this on the right. video of the day yeah oh, exactly right. um <laughs> guess who's gonna be changing that password right after this i, was to figure out how oh, and I just got you forgot about the video yeah uh yeah i don't forget about it because i i count on these videos and watch them um to remember what we did the day before Oh, I'm back in. There you are. Um, and downloading and music is playing still. I see a wooden spoon. I see some of you guys are already here. Um, to get your combat tracker back, go back to those two cross swords and hit right mm -hmm. right button over it. I have to hit unpause, and we are back in it. All right. 
All right. All right. Instant kill coming up. So, um, I will alt target. Shouldn't it be by me, or is it just over there now? It's just floating around. Fine. Yeah. It, well, you have to put it. You have to move it to where you want it, like who you're attacking, and you get two of them. So I dr drag it on top of him. No, no. You're. It, it's like you're like right next to him. Just like a. It's like a character, right? So, so select the spoon. Right. Next, wait a minute. Let me put the spoon in the combat tracker. Yeah, I was about to say. I think the thing that she has to do next is like change her character to the spoon. Like control the spoon. Yeah. 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 So now you should be able to. Um, you're in the combat tracker. And uh, I guess I have to roll this initiative. I mean, I don't know why I have to do that. Um, where'd it go? It went way up there. It's um, way up there. So what's your initiative? Your initiative is what? Uh, seven? I'm way down there. Yeah, seven. All right. I don't know how to manually enter initiative. But anyway, you're the spoon, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out here. So you're gonna you're gonna t you're gonna target the Gulby hello you right? And yeah. then you're and you're going to okay. attack it with well, your got... club, right? Okay. And it attacks. And you have used your action this round. Do you want to proceed? So, no, because I already used my my reaction. All right. So, so did it hit? It missed it. And then you're gonna do another attack on the other ghoul, right? Because you get two. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so you're gonna do that, and then you're going to the spoon is going to use its its itself. And yes. And it hits with a fifteen, and it does. Yay. Some damage. Spoon damage. Nice. And then, now, does the spoon stick around? <laughs> like, how does this work? How long does it last? It just lasts, um, oh, now I'd have to do my own. Um, if I can, I, I, it lasts until I do it again. I don't, I can't remember. It Little. says. Oh, it says it lasts for the duration or until you cast the spell again, but... What does last for the duration mean? I don't know. Yeah, what is duration? I think, I mean, of the combat, possibly? I think it's the duration so of I combat. Don't... That's my ruling for tonight. It's the duration of combat. Oh, so okay. I don't have to recast it, right? Right. So now your turn's over, though. Oh, my God. That and this so guy, sorry. this guy's been like, what is the hell is going on down there? And he, like, heads your way. How do you get the uh, HUD back up again? Um, uh, the two little swords on the left, and this brings us oh, to Nick. That's right. Nick Maylock. Right. So Nick Maylock is going to do a memento. There we well, go. whatever it is, make it complicated. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to be relatively simple. Just the one that I'm tar just the one that I have targeted. Uh, I'm going to attack again with chromatic orb. No one ever just hits things with hammers anymore. <laughs> Into a hammer. In my day, <laughs> people had hammers, and we were thankful. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm going to toss... I'm just going to toss a metal ball uh, over his head. <laughs> That's yeah. that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to no. toss it into that room over there. And I'm just going to I'm just going to set my hat down in the hallway and just walk the opposite direction of the uh <laughs> So you missed. End your turn. Yes. And it's now it's Fabio's turn. Yep. And the little right. that little doodly do means that you've used your reaction. So if the reaction pops up, you cannot use it. That's why it, and so you can't use a reaction again right on uh, noodle in this uh this combat round until next short rest. Fabia is yep. up. Okay. So now that she has uh, uh, swapped places with Karen, uh, I'm going to push. Well, I'm going to slide between uh, Skylar and Noodle okay. to try and get uh, sort of, kind of, uh, in this. How do you? Why? Because, because uh, I'm still I'm still close proximity and will take a, a disadvantage with my bow. Yeah, oh, but you she has, I thought she changed her weapon. Yeah, she's I only a sword. That was the whole point of that. Oh yeah, that's right. 
Um, well, am I? I guess I'm still close enough. And yeah, and if you and if you move behind those guys, you won't have line of sight. Yeah. All right, that's fair. Uh, okay, well, yeah. Uh, I'm going to target this one next to Skylar and Aaron, and I'm going to swat, swat at him. Huzzah! You hit. Hey. Yay. The whack. The whack. Minus 10 damage. Nice. And turn. It's getting crowded. Let's see, he can move. move Y'all are still all ha hashtag blessed. Mm. Mr. Bing. Do we re re roll initiative or no? Oh, wait, yeah. Roll, roll initiative, my bad. I didn't even realize we, we we did a lap there. Wait, I gotta I gotta reset it first. Now you can do it. Oh. Thank you, because that was a one. <laughs> oh my The only thing I don't like about that is when people start rolling all the characters move around and you can't mm -hmm. click on your <laughs> <laughs> That's the spoon really end up. If you, if you have more than one character to control. Oh. Yeah, they just they're dancing around. You have to wait until everyone's done. Did Thomas crash again? Because he hasn't rolled the ghouls. Oh, nope, god. I'm here. Oh I'm here. god. Okay. <laughs> no, they are. Yeah, they are. Okay. Yeah, I don't roll the. I didn't want to roll the NPCs until you guys were done. Otherwise, things would like really fly all over the place. Like, like I could turn my video back on. Though. I forgot about that. It still says that the game is paused down at my bottom, down at the bottom of my screen. Did I do that? Did I uh, do that? It shouldn't say it. <laughs> there it goes. All right. Um, Let me do the next. Though I'll get to the top. I already took that guy's turn. Nick. Nick. Nick, Nick Papa Giorgio. Yep. Okay. Um. I'm gonna do. Well, Scorching Ray this time. Okay. And I'm going to... Oh, wait. I don't know. Can I do that? Get three rays of fire. Hurl them. Targets within range. You can hurl them at a target. One target or several. Um. You get about half your turns left. Okay. Can I, uh... I, I don't think so. Yeah, we'll I don't do that, I don't we'll have do it through half the party. Yeah, so I'm just going to attack the one that I have targeted with all three of them. With what? Uh scorching ray. Well, that is that not line of sight? Um I mean, I'm all for you burning up your party. Scorching ray. It's um three rays of fire hurl towards them so you can hurl them at one target or several um it's a ranged spell yeah so like everyone that it everyone it crosses is going to take damage okay it's basically oh. you're shooting a fire arrow at them think of it like that okay um then uh i am going to this i'm just gonna hang out for now then if you took one step to the if you went one block to the left it would only hit one per one of us and potentially four of them right yeah. Yeah. So you just have to apologize to who's in front. You'd have to apologize to Skylar in advance. All right. Yeah. <laughs> is it worth it, Skylar? What do you think? Well, this thing is going to do a crap ton of damage. I hurt, and then I'm going to get killed by the ghoul, so it seems risky. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's fine. I'll, uh, I'm just, I'm not going to do anything. I'll say I like this need... plan. Uh... <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll end my turn. Awesome. Are you guys still there? Who, whose turn yep. is it? Uh, cool. It's a ghoul. You would think so, but of course my um my internet is doing something again. Yeah, mine too. Oh, I'm getting I'm... a huge unresponsive. Yeah, mine oh. too. I had okay. to restart my game. Oh, so so we all are getting it. Yeah. It's what is spoon. it? 
So it's not just me. No, it's the spoon. <laughs> the spoon you broke it. The spoon it. jacks us all up. I'm back in though. As it has my life. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember the Shoot. spoon. All right, it's coming back in here. Should I log back in? I don't know. No, you should, actually. No, then we're going to end it in a second here, though. I was just going to try to get to the bottom of this round. This has been, we'll just oh. say, an, an event-filled evening um, with all sorts yes. of, like, really interesting, but also, like, what the hell's going on? All right, so it's a ghoul's turn, correct? Yes. Oh, I'm totally frozen. Yeah. Can I just re re refresh my screen? Yeah, hit up. Should we just refresh? Or no? Yeah. It, well, it doesn't. It doesn't impact any anybody else other than yourself. Yeah. yeah. I think you have to like exit and come back. What's interesting is that um, all the iconography from my bad guy is now gone. So my cool looking claws are not showing up anymore. Let's see if anything else works. See if I hit uh if I hit uh Skylar with a nat twenty. And you can use your reaction. You have one reaction, I guess. So y'all took some damage. The ghoul as well as Mr. Skylar. And did it ask you, did you have to do, um, I used claws, did you have to do a saving throw? Looks like you did. Oh, I get to use my, uh, my intercept thing here, right? Oh, intercept then, yeah. Does anybody get, uh, a red banner across their thing when they log in saying access unauthorized? And it's an API, I have to figure out why that does that. Okay. So you're taking your... So I don't see how to apply the intercept, Thomas, but I can roll a 1d10. Okay, do that. Roll a 1d10. And that's a... So I need to pull off six, right? Yep. yep. Well, that sucks. You know why? You killed it. Oh. oh, no, the, the intercept is uh, basically minus damage for Skylar. Oh, it's alive again. Yeah, it's not again on the mom. Sad. Sad, but good. Sad, but good. Okay, so then, so Steven gets back, he gets back six, right? Right, right. That was good because I was half hit points. <laughs> there you go. You're back. All oh, right, now that... Baby. That ends that ghoul's turn. Mr. Bing. Bada Bing. And I just got loaded. Wow. I don't I blame you. you said it's, that. It's been a rough, it's been a rough day. I think we all yes. need to get loaded. <laughs> okay. Um, I... Do you have any ballistic spells? Nothing that will arc. That's the problem. Um... I mean, I could throw a flask of oil, but I... Ooh, do, do, do that, do that. <laughs> <laughs> Death from above. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then with my scorching ray, I'll light this entire hallway on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't let don't let the 10-foot ceilings, like, you know, throw you off, right? It's not a big deal. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna twiddle my thumbs and, and <laughs> Come on. wait for... Come on, start the party on fire. That'd be a good way to end the night. Party's on it fire. Would. Until the next time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh my god, the wooden spoon would go up. Yes, we you would just would. Yes. It would die. Magic. Yeah, there's, oh, there's, there's nothing disappear. I can do at the moment. You can push. Uh, so you can push through, if you want. I mean, to end my turn. Let's see. This ghoul can move thirty feet, which means if I can push through you guys at fifteen. Shoot. Uh oh. Haven't we been through enough? You can't no, get food. He can't make it. He can't. He can't make it. He, he's so he's just he's readying himself.
Guess who can make it, though? Oh, God. 15 feet, right there. Boom. Oh. Oh. Wouldn't there be an opportunity have... attack there? There yep. would be oh. from... No, wait, there'd be a... Wait, hold the... Yeah, Karen gets an opportunity attack. Yeah. yeah. And so do I. Nope, he's still within melee of you. Favia would get an opportunity as well. Uh, where do you... Oh, yeah, she would. I get when it walked right And... By. Wait, and... Not Nick. Or Noodle? No, Noodle... No, Noodle's yeah. moving into... Blammo. Damn it. Come on, whoever... Who, who just went? Was it, um... Who just rolled? Karen. Karen. Now, Fabia gets hers... <laughs> And, and I want her to miss. She needs to move. Miss Fabia needs to miss. Okay. Come it, has on. To, it has to be Fabia, melee. Come on. Where's it at? There it is. Uh. No, 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 no. Where's the dice? No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Come on. Yes! Come Damn on. It. <laughs> there we go. Yes. He just muscled his way through to, to his to death. death. <laughs> you know, I didn't. I, uh, I, I'm gonna tell you, I forgot about the opportunity attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, because I was like, oh, I'm still gonna be within melee distance, but no, it's the yeah, he left melee for. You know what? Fabia shouldn't have gotten melee because he didn't leave melee distance from her. He stayed within melee. The only person he left was Karen. What? No, he's he's not within. Wait, which one? No, for the for the last uh, for the last round. He so he was he's within me. I'll I'll give you real quick. He was within okay. melee of Fabia. He was in with melee of Skylar, and he was with melee of Karen. Right? When he right. pushed when he pushed through Skylar, he was within melee of Skylar. He was within melee of Fabia. The only melee distance he left was Karen. Oh, see, I thought we were talking about the guy above him, to the north of him. No, he no. he pushed through as well, didn't he? No, 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 he tried. He was going to, but he couldn't make it through. Yeah, so um, so uh, that was my mistake, so I'm gonna, it's going to stand, right? Okay. Because we, we progressed, but it's now Fabia's turn. Okay. And she, and she has some, she has line of sight to one of the ghouls. Mm. Well, actually, she has line of sight to um, a couple of them across the way if she wants to get ahead of the game. But she yeah. doesn't have a bow equipped, right? Nope. nope. <laughs> I was gonna. I was gonna wait till you got all excited about you know line of sight. God damn it. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know what? Uh. Well, no, that's not gonna work either. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna swap weapons for now. All right. And that's your action. You have all your movement if you want to do anything with that. I don't think uh, you should swap your weapons, dude, because the ghouls are going to move right in. You could yeah, you're right. You could, oh, wait. You couldn't swap anybody, right? Nope. Bummer. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um. But you, you could just ready in case somebody goes into that slot, and then you could whack them. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to do that, and then ready. All right, you're ready. To end your turn, right. sir. Yep, ending. Did I click it. I clicked it. There. Okay. Yes. Um, so, so this is your. Spoon. This is so. This is Noodle's turn, right? This is your wooden spoon for yeah. you, right? Okay. Right. <laughs> and it gets two attacks, right? It does. Right, and it's going to attack. We're just going to. I'm going to do something cool. I'm going to target them both, and it'll just be one attack at the same time. Yeah, at the same time. Okay. And the so do spoon I need to target them? No, I already did it for you. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to run the spoon, just for this. Okay. Game. Thanks for the confidence. Love it. All right. So that's. So then it, that's the first one. And that's the second one. Nice. Nice double spoon attack. Yeah, so the yeah, spoon the spoon did its bit. Right? Um 
And that ends the spoon's turn. The irony is the ghoul can't the, the ghoul can't attack the wooden spoon. Seems wildly unfair. <laughs> like that a lot. All right, so um, so Karen, you know this 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 ghoul's coming at you with its what used to be a beautiful a beautiful claw, um, but now it just looks like an empty bag uh, with no iconography. Wait, did I just target the wrong person? No, you hit, hit Karen. Okay. Cool. And did it do damage? Yeah, it did. All right. Next up, this guy. 5, 10, 15, pushes past, he loses 5 going through his pal. But bam, look where he is. Now, that means that now Fabia gets an opportunity. Before I go, so you're yep. a melee so, attack. Just a regular melee. Yep, that's all you get for opportunity. Okay. Well, I mean, God you were. Damn it! I'm sorry, you were readied, but it was a, it was it was, it was yeah. a hit with your stuff, yeah. Oh, it was a hit. Okay, still a hit. Yeah. <laughs> it was a crappy roll. But it yes, it was a super <laughs> crappy roll. <laughs> nice bit of damage. Yeah. It's a lot of ghoul blood on the floor. I like it. Karen. Make us proud, Karen. It's the ghoul's turn. But oh. it missed it missed Skylar, sadly. Karen. Cleave for the win. And this will be I the keep... last the last turn of the round since Noodle already went, so so let's see what you do. I keep wishing there was a cleave, yeah. I don't know if I eventually get that or not. What does Cleave do? Does that hit multi? It's like, mm -hmm. yeah, you hit everything. Yeah, everybody within like a 180 range or something like that. So like to the side of him and in front. That's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Dead. Oh, nice. <laughs> Not Dead. Enough. What did you do? Wow. Let me see. I'm looking at the... While in a frenzy, you can make single... Frenzy attack, Bonus. yeah. Bonus oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Twenty-seven plus. Now, do you roll? Do you roll again? Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to. Let me attack again for some reason. Oh wait, let me hang on. Let me try something different. There we go. No. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> so... He's back. Karen's oh, that's back. Beautiful. <laughs> I almost feel bad for the wolves. <laughs> So, you know, and my turn disappeared. Yeah, so when we next play, we will be rolling <laughs> we will be rolling initiative. Um, yeah. you guys are standing in a pool of of blood. Um, a little bit of it is your own blood, but most of it's ghoul blood. I mean, the yeah. you guys the entire hallway is just like like filled filled with blood. You, you know, as you guys sort of lean from side to side, you feel the bottom, your, your feet are sort of sticking, sort of like you're walking on wet paint. Um, nice. Uh, it was a real slow, you know, it's a real slow roll getting to this point. So you're feeling pretty good about just the sheer amount of blood suddenly around you guys. Because um, things weren't looking good earlier. You guys were debating, <laughs> like, you know, cutting and running, yeah. I think. Um, but alas, you know, you look ahead of you, you see three ghouls and a wooden spoon. And uh, and you know those three will those three ghouls are going to fight to the death. Um, what you don't know is that with all the hell that you've released within this large cavern, if anything's hurt it. So something to or think about. It. Uh -oh. So we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Guess and guess when you're going to find out. <laughs> On the next uh, Elegant Age Adventure Saga. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for playing. We had some weird, some weird issues. I don't know what's going on. Like my internet dropped. Like it was almost as if I shouldn't be playing tonight. I don't know. So many things went weird and wrong. Um, Appearance. That's what happened. In general, I think we have some things to learn. Um, if there's any, like, look at your spells. You can look on uh, D and D Beyond. If there's mm -hmm. any sort of like interesting things that we need to know, like let's get in front of those, right? Because like the wooden spoon thing caught me for a loop. Right, so so thank you, Mr. Mude, for um, 
Googling that we needed to create an actor or whoever did that. Um, yeah, because, it was Mark. Yeah, wow. so there you go. And so, and Cliff, yeah. Yeah, both. So, you know, durably, you're, you're going to now have what's called an extra, I guess. It's just like Nick has, you know, Nick has familiars and Fabia has little Zippy. You now have a spoon. So be thinking about what you so want to name your spoon. I would just use my spell slots, and then it would only appear when we were in battle, and then it would just be the one that's there. Yeah. Right? Yes. That's, yeah, basically, you lay down your it. spiritual weapon. It puts that red aura around, right? And then within that aura, you can select two targets to target with your wooden spoon. And then we just move your wooden spoon to wherever they're targeting. Okay. And that, that and that seems to be that seems to be that. That's but, kind of beautiful. Uh, yeah, I yeah. like it because you don't have Very to have good. like line of sight or you can you right. Know. Just yeah, now, now, I mean, it, it, I think it's pretty cool. Like right now, I think it only does one d eight. So you should. I don't know if it, if that up levels when you get to a certain right. level. Yeah, I uh, think it does. But yeah, because I mean, like, durably, once you guys get much higher than this, 1d8 is going to be a very minimal amount of damage. Like, that's the best right, case scenario, right. Be, right? So. But I'm using right, guys. I got Well, hey. thank you. Thanks for the game, thank everyone. You guys. I'm going to go get ready for my next meeting. I'll see you guys. All right. Bye. All right. Later. Bye. Bye. Bye.